Hey everyone, it's Amber, and I'm bringing way too many books back to college. As you can see from the title of this video, today I'm going to be talking about all of the books that I'm bringing with me back to college. Um, I move in on the 21st of January um, for my spring semester, which like I'm already moved in, but like I go back to school. So I've been out of school since December like 13th or something like that. And it is January 21st, so I've had like five weeks off, which has been so nice. I love being at home with my family and stuff, and it's been so nice to visit with them. Now I'm going back to school for my spring semester, and I am making a goal to read every day and to read a lot more books. So that means I'm bringing a lot of books back to school, which I probably shouldn't do, because then I have to move them out again. But... I do have spring break, so I'll just bring some back. It'll be fine. We'll be fine. I already have some books at school, so this is going to be interesting because I forget what books I even left there and how many there are. So, we're going to bring more. Anyway, so I made a poll on Twitter to see if you guys wanted me to do a full video on this or if you guys wanted me to just include it in one of my weekly reading vlogs. You guys voted for a full video, so that is what I'm doing for you guys today. So... Let's just get straight into this because there's a lot of books and I want to just show them to all of you. So a lot of these are books that I got for Christmas, so they're newer um, and I didn't have them before because I brought some books back with me and now they're going back because I thought I was going to read them over the break but then I didn't. Anyway, so the first book I got for Christmas and that is The Darkest Star by Jennifer L. Armitrout. This is a continuation of the Lux series basically and that's like about aliens and stuff. It's just very easy to read and I feel like I can read this so quickly. So I'm going to bring this one back with me because I think it's going to be a really quick easy read for like when I'm really really stressed and I'll just pick this up and I'll be like Damon Lux series love it. Next one I'm also extremely sure about and that is The Exiled Queen by Cinda Williams Chima. This is the second book in the Seven Realms series. Um, I read the first one, The Demon King, over break, so I want to start this one and read it um, while I'm back at school. I'm not going to go into too big of a description of these because I've talked about them in other videos and also ain't nobody got time for that because we have a lot of books to get through. The next one I have was one that was already with me at school and I brought it back because I thought I was going to read it and then I didn't read it. Sea Fire by Natalie C. Parker. It's about pirates. It's about like an all-female pirate crew. I'm excited to read this. Next one I have is Vengeful by Victoria Schwab. Oh my god, I'm so excited for this one. This is the second book in Vicious. Vicious? What are you even serious? I think it's called the Villains Trilogy, Duology. I don't even know how many books there are. But I read Vicious over the break. I brought that one back from school and I actually did finish it. But this is the second one and I'm actually going to maybe buddy read this with my friend Sammy over at Bookish Sammy. This series kind of follows two college roommates turned enemies who experiment with like um, near-death experiences and extraordinaries which are like people with powers so it's kind of like x-men-ish you know um, but it's really really good and I'm excited to read the second one. The next one that I have is a pretty lofty read because I'm really scared to read this um, but this one is Strange the Dreamer by Lainey Taylor. This one I'm really excited to read but also really scared um, because I've heard that it takes a while to get through because it's just a lot to like take in and the writing I've heard is beautiful and amazing and I just want to read this one so I'm gonna bring this and like tab it all up and yeah so I'm excited for this one but I feel like this one is gonna take me a little bit so I need to read it like when I have a lot of time. The next one I have is a tiny little baby and it's Down Among the Sticks and Bones by Seanan McGuire who has become one of my new favorite authors and I've heard this book is fantastic. This one follows these children who come back from fantasy worlds and now they're in this like school for wayward children who like are children that came back but want to go back to their fantasy world so they don't really fit in in the real world anymore. And the second one um, kind of follows two of the kids and their world um, that they went to. So I'm so excited for this one because I'm excited to see his writing and how it translates into like an actual fantasy world. The next one I have is the exact opposite of that and it's a giant book and that is Lady Midnight by Cassandra Clare. This one is um, the first one of the Dark Artifices series and I really need to read this and I'm gonna vlog it. I keep saying that and I'm going to vlog it but I just keep, I can't get to it yet. 
but I heard this is a fast read even though it's huge and I'm really good about Cassandra Clare books and like reading them really quickly but I've started this book like three times and for some reason I can't get into it but I think once I get into it I'll like absolutely adore it and I'll hate myself that I didn't read it sooner. The next one I'm bringing back is A Darker Shade of Magic by Victoria Schwab. This one, I'm not bringing back the second one, so this is a little bit of a risk here if I really like this. But this one basically follows this guy named Kel and he can go back and forth between parallel Londons. It's a fantasy series. Everyone loves it, so I'm really excited to read it. The next one I have is Six of Crows by Lee Bardugo. This one is being turned into a TV show, so I'm really excited about that. So I really want to read the book. Um, but this one follows these six people in the Grishaverse and they're, they basically go on like a heist. Um, but it sounds really good and I know a lot of people really like it, so I'm really looking forward to reading it and I'm definitely going to try to read it this semester. Can I even read all these books this semester? Who knows? The next one I have is An Ember in the Ashes by Saba Tahir. I'm, I barely know what this one's about, but I just really want to read this soon because I know everyone really loves it and I really want to read it. Um, this one I'm kind of going back and forth on whether I want to bring it because I don't know if I'll have time to get to it this semester, but I do really want to read it so I feel like I should bring it. Next one that I have is Renegades by Marissa Meyer which is one that I'm also kind of unsure about. This one's a sci-fi and I don't read a ton of sci-fi so like I don't know. Um, but I, all I know about it is it's like superhero-y and it has a lot of like government stuff in it and like politics. I really really want to read this one but I don't know if I'm going to bring it back to school or not. So let me know what you guys think. Should I? Should I not? I don't know. Then the last and final book is Scythe by Neil Shusterman, which I've heard fantastic things about this. It's basically set in a world where no one dies and they solved all the problems that we have now of like things that can kill you. They have these people called scythes that go around and kill people and they're trained to like you know kill people. But it sounds really cool. It follows these two people that are like being trained to be scythes and it just sounds really interesting and fun and I think that this will be a fast read so I definitely want to bring it. So those are all of the books that I'm going to bring back with me. There's 13 of them which is a lot. Um, but I'm gonna bring all of these back and try to read them in school, but we'll see. Um, because I might end up narrowing this down a little bit because I have not a lot of space in my dorm room and I'm probably gonna buy some more books. So hopefully I can read all of these books this semester. We will try. We'll see. But anyways, that is about it for this video. Let me know what books I should bring, what books you guys are bringing if you guys are in college or just what your favorite book on this list is. Um, but that is about it for this video. If you guys liked it, please make sure to give it a thumbs up because it really, really supports my channel. Also, make sure to subscribe down below if you want to see more of my videos. And my name is Amber. I upload every Monday and Thursday and sometimes Saturdays. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye! Words that I say, downtown the lights out, but we 